Right, final assembly. This is where we put this all together. So we will be combining all of these to make this using this. We will need this and that. Now when uh, putting on PVA glue just put a little amount in the middle of the wood and then use a spreader to cover the surface evenly. You need to make sure that you get it into all the corners as this will allow the wood more surface area to be able to glue onto. So now that we know how to uh, how to use PVA uh, correctly and that you don't use uh, half a tub when trying to uh, trying to glue something, we will begin sticking the components together. So this is A and B, which strangely this is A and this is B. We then put some glue onto one of the faces and then spread it and then clamp it firmly in the vise. We have D and E. This is the word for D, this is the word for E. Again, spread some glue evenly on the surface and then clamp together in the vise, which is this big metal thing that you play with constantly during the lesson. So we're now going to stick the components together. So if you look here, we have got A and B, which has been stuck together and put into the vise. We have D and E, which has been stuck together and put into the vise. We now need to attach C, the wheel, and the dowel, which will allow the wheel to rotate. So, by putting a little bit of glue, as I have pretended to put some glue on there, you place C onto that surface area. You then place the dowel into the dowel hole and place the wheel into the recess. Make sure it can move. You'll then get some more PVA glue. Add a little bit, not too much, otherwise excess will stick to the wheel which then will stop it uh, spinning. Position and then we will need to clamp it firmly. And you know we need to clamp it because there is the clamp and there's the vice. Now congratulations, we have pretty much finished the main body of the gumball machine. Now what we need to do now is to choose what finish you're going to be using. So you should know that the finish that we're going to be using is either going to be varnish, a coloured wood dye, a stain or a wax.